morning everyone welcome to Desi Boy's kitchen guys I've been away from the scene and not been putting a lot of uh, videos and posting my YouTube videos it's because I had a Bremen in the family my dear mother passed away a few months ago so but now I'm back and I've been getting a lot of requests from people my followers and they're saying I must do a fish curry, right? So today, I'm gonna do a fish curry for you guys, right? One thing I must say about fish curry, right? You know, we, there's a myth about Indian cooking. The more spicy you put in, the better it is. It's just a myth. Because sometimes less is more, and when you put so many spices in them, what happens is, it's very hard to digest when you have so many spices in the meal and uh, so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you we're gonna do really really minimum spices let me show you what I've taken is a pinch of mustard seeds right which is called rye in Indian and a few bay leaves right um, turmeric salt tin tomato I'm just gonna use a half of this right and some crushed onions right and you've got crushed garlic, crushed ginger, and a crushed chilies, right? Even ginger is option, Sky. If you don't want to use ginger, don't use it, right? So that will be enough, but I'm gonna use ginger this time, yeah? And I've taken a four fillets of white fish. You can take any white fish, right? So this was a frozen one, and I've just defrosted it, right? So we're just gonna cut them into the pieces. Just get a fresh knife, sharp knife, and just cut into small pieces, right? So it's like not too small or not too big about this size, right? Okay. So we're gonna add, first we're gonna prepare fish, right? So you're gonna add with the holy oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our fish into the pan. And we're going to add a pinch of salt. And just uh, scoop the fish separately. So all we're just going to do is we're going to make the fish tender and, and we're going to turn it right very right gently right so it doesn't break because this is a frozen fish right all I'm trying to do is make the fish tender and get rid of excess water in the fish look at that within two minutes your fish is ready and all we've done is right with the loads of excess water all we're going to do is drain the water and keep the fish yeah there you go guys all we're going to do is drain the water right and there you go our fish is ready yeah well, now we're gonna make the sauce right to add fish into it so put olive oil in it and once the oil is like really really hot we're gonna add our mustard seeds into them Oil is ready, so we're just gonna add our mustard seeds and a little bit. So you can hear the popping. Well, mustard seeds are popping, so we're gonna add our onions into them. Yeah, about four to four spoons to make a base. While our onions cooking, we're just gonna pour one 
good teaspoon of garlic, yeah, maybe one and a half. Right. And uh, we're not going to put a lot of ginger in, just a half a teaspoon, yeah, of ginger. Remember what I said, I don't want to overpower with spices because I want to taste the fish. So we're just going to add our one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of turmeric, which is healthy. It's going to do one teaspoon of my green chilies, which is pretty good they are, you know they're quite uh, hot and that's why I'm not putting too much in. So, our onions are done, so I've not cooked them really really brown, so I'm just going to add half a tin of tomatoes, yeah? That's half a tin, yeah? So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add some water for tomatoes to get cooked. So, and I'm going to lid on it. Simmer the gas for five minutes, right? Let's have a look. Here you guys, look at that. The sauce is thickened. Right? The tomatoes are cooked. So all we're going to do is we're gonna add this fish which we already cooked into the pan. And it is a tricky one, yeah? So all you do is mix the sauce like this. Right, into the fish, right, and just like add a bit of coriander. There you go, and put a lid on. switch off your gas and let your fish rest in the sauce for five minutes and your fish is done because we don't want to overcook the fish if we overcook the fish it become very chewy as you see I've not put no garam masala I've not put no cinnamon I've not put any elaichi long cloves we not put anything in there right with a simple dish who's gonna be really, really yummy and very easy to digest. Okay guys, and we'll try it in five minutes. Let's try this. Wow, amazing. Really nice, beautiful garlic flavor, a flavor of the mustard seeds. And it's awesome, very light dish to eat. You can eat this rice, it goes really well with rice. Um, fish generally goes well with rice, yeah? So try at home guys and try to put less spices as possible in your dish because it's very hard to digest too much spices, right? And um, thanks for watching my video. Please like, subscribe and share my videos. And DM me on DC Wise Kitchen if you want me to give you a shout out. Today's shout out goes to my neighbor, Jay Shree, who has taught me how to make this fish. And so today's shout out goes to Jay Shree and her sisters, Mina and Neela. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.